All right. Got a good one for you today. 2005 Saturn Relay. The ABS module will not program. Stand by. Hello, Sam from Toolhut here today. Toolhut has all of your diagnostics equipment needs taken care of. Any equipment you see used in any of our videos can be purchased on our website or with a quick message to me. Today's project is a 2005 Saturn Relay. I've been called to a shop because they cannot get the ABS module to program. Now, I want to make something very clear. The shop has done everything right. Everything the way that AC Delco wants it done or GM wants it done. They are using, uh, they have used their Tech 2 to program it. They have used a Drew Technologies Cardac M to attempt to program it. It just plain and simply will not program. They've also been on the phone with AC Delco's tech support which sounds to me like they kind of led them in a, a big circle. So I have been called uh, kind of as a last resort because they've tried everything they know how to do. So I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to go through a process that is not recommended by General Motors. It did work, but you will not find this in a service manual or a procedure anywhere. So the first thing I did before I did anything out of the ordinary is I grabbed <clears throat> my MDI-2 and I attempted to program it using GM procedures until I got this message. This message is kind of the point that I decided uh, to go off the reservation, if you will, and try something. So this is the message that you get. Uh, it went about 4% uh, or so and then it, it stopped and this is the exact complaint that the shop was talking about. Uh, now the guy that was trying to program this vehicle is not here today. Uh, he's at a doctor's appointment that kind of expected him to be here any minute. Um, so I don't have the luxury or whatever of being able to discuss and make sure that this is the exact complaint, but this is the message that they were getting when they called me on the phone. So I'm pretty confident that this is the problem they're trying to address. Okay, so what I like to do from this point on is I like to kind of review the challenges that I've seen. Okay, so we all know it's not programming. The shop has tried multiple procedures. So in our experience as a programming company, we have found that 2005 GM ABS modules, for the most part, need to be programmed using the Tech2 remote function. Saturn does not support Tech2 remote programming. So in all reality, this is a Chevy Uplander. The Uplander supports Tech 2 remote programming. So what I've decided to do at this point is let's just tell it it's an Uplander. All it can do is fail, right? We've already failed. So I think this is a nothing to lose situation. So let's try to program it as a Chevy Uplander using the Tech2 in the remote programming function. So I am going to apologize uh, before we start here. Uh, I did record this with my phone. I did not intend on recording it. And so this, the video is a little shaky and I apologize for that. But I hope you'll get the gist of it. Armed with our Tech2, we now go into programming systems, request information from the vehicle, going to hit continue. 
I'll just scroll through here real quick and show you the Saturn is not an option it's not in here so we're gonna go back to Chevrolet go to 05 light duty vehicle and it's an uplander sure it is it's an uplander with a Saturn logo on it continue I'm gonna read the VIN ECU data this is one of the points I kind of expected an error that I'd prop not properly ID'd the vehicle or something like that. Ask me if the VIN's correct. I'm going to tell it yes it is because it is. It says disconnect the Tech 2 from the vehicle and connect it to a PC. So let's get our PC hooked up here. All right, we still had the GM service programming systems opened from uh, the failure that we had with our MDI 2. So we're just going to start up the good old Java program again here. And we're going to go to Tech 2 Remote, which is the bottom function. We're going to tell it we're replacing the module. It's going to communicate with our Tech 2. Now, if you've not programmed with your Tech 2 previously, there is some hardware that it requires to uh, hook it to your PC. You can send me a message and I'll tell you what you need to do to program with your Tech 2. And, uh, it is serial data, so it is not super fast. So remember, we have told this it's an uplander. I kind of expect an error somewhere here. There's the VIN. I'm going to tell it uh, ABS module. And there's our current the calibration numbers. So we're just going to hit continue, and it's going to program our tech two. Notice we have not gotten an error message. Very encouraging, in my opinion. Now we go back to our tech two. I'm going to go back to service programming systems, and the function we see now is program ECU. This is the correct fin. We're going to hit continue. Also remember, they were only getting to 4% at pass-through, so 5% will be an improvement, right? No, we're going to hope we can complete this project. Tech2 goes through a couple of functions here. It proceeds, and it looks like it's going to be successful. I have sped up the programming process a little bit here, so it does go a little faster than that. Or a little slower than that, rather. I didn't cut any of the screen out, though, because I just sped you up. Because everybody likes watching the bar go across, right? It says, programming was successful. Turn off the ignition. Now, I go in and I check for ABS codes. There's several of them. I clear them. I cycle the ignition a couple of times, pump the brakes etc etc no codes return I'm very happy very convinced that uh, this has solved the problem that they were having and I will mark this one down and remember it for the future so thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel hit the bell if you want to be notified as I set out new videos uh, I do not do them regularly Usually they're sporadic. I'll do a bunch of them and then be a while till I do another one. I am doing uh, more diagnostics type videos now, which take longer to do. But I am still doing some programming videos. If you see something that you want, the uh, procedure that you haven't seen, uh, just shoot me a message. I'll see what I can do. And any comments or suggestions you got at the bottom, just let me know. Thumbs ups, thumbs downs. I'm good with it. Have a great day.